Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Jennifer Marie, where I teach you different ways to make money online as a work from home freelancer. If you are one of my subscribers, you'll know that I sell digital products on my Etsy shop. I have a playlist where you can check out all sorts of different videos related to Etsy, but in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can make an Etsy video listing for digital products for free. If you are selling digital or physical products on Etsy, Etsy recommends that you create a video listing in addition to your listing images. And that's because video listings get twice as many orders as listings with just photos. So you can see here, for example, this is an example of a listing photo that does not have a video, but most of the best sellers are ones that actually do have a video. And you can see the little play icon here. This is an example of a printable cleaning planner. And this one is rated as one of Etsy's picks. And you can see here they have the listing photo and then they have this nice simple little video of their product. Here's another one, we've got the listing photo. And then when users hover over the listing, they're going to see a little video as well. So to create our Etsy video listing, we're going to use Canva and you do not need the pro account of Canva to do this. You can sign up to Canva using my link in the description below. The first thing you're going to do is click here on create a design and go down to custom size. Now I'm going to put in 1440 by 1080 pixels and then click create new design. So this is where we are going to create a video. If we look at this example video here, you can see it's a four to three ratio and this one is a one to one ratio. When people are scrolling through and looking at listings, you can see that all of the listings are in a square format. So if you do decide to do a four to three ratio, make sure that all the most important information will fit within the square. The official Etsy help guide says that the video may be three to 15 seconds long and will not contain any audio once it's uploaded. The ideal video resolution is at least 1080 pixels. You can see here that the video aspect ratio should be two to one or one to two. However, we're going to do four to three or one to one because that's what everyone else is doing. So I'm not going to follow that guideline here. So the first thing we can do is add a background. You can add a background color by clicking on the box here, clicking on the color wheel and choosing whatever background color you want. You can also choose a gradient color or click on the color wheel to select a specific color. You can also click here on background and you can search any of the patterns or the gradients or abstract backgrounds that you want to use. For example, paper and any of these that don't have the crown you can use. Remember that you can change any of these. For example, this paper one I like, I can click here on edit image and I can click on adjust and I can even change the color of the image as well. So I wanna make this black and white. So I'm just going to bring down the saturation. Next, we're going to add some text. So you can just click here on text, add a text box and you can put whatever your listing is. So for example, daily and weekly planner bundle. Let's say I'm selling goal planners. You can adjust the size of the text by clicking and dragging on these nodes or highlighting the text and increasing the size. And you can also change the font type. You can change the font color as well. You can even click here on effects and you can add a text shadow or a lift or an outline. Now I'm going to go to elements and I'm going to type in rectangle. Just going to choose one of these rectangular shapes and change the color to black. And I just want this to go behind the daily and weekly. So I'm just going to reposition it and click and drag just to kind of make that stand out a bit. If you need to adjust the positioning of it, let's say for example, this black box is in front of your text, you can click here on position, then layers, and you can readjust the layers to make sure that the text is on top. So now very importantly, we want to add samples of the product that we're selling. So if you're selling a PDF file or wall art or a planner, you will want to export the first page so you can show that here as a sample of what your customer will be purchasing. So click here on uploads, then you'll click on upload files and upload your product. If it's just a one page PDF file, you'll just upload a sample of the file. So maybe the first page, and I'm going to show you what you would do if you have multiple pages. So let's say I'm selling a PDF file of a day-to-day -day planner. This is one of the printables I'll be selling. What I like to do is click here on edit image and add a drop shadow. 
It just makes it stand out. You can adjust the positioning and the angle of the shadow. You can also adjust the color and the intensity. So I'm going to do something like that and then can adjust the positioning as well. Can make it bigger and rotate. So I'm gonna do this first and once I'm happy with that, I'm going to copy and paste it. So Control C to copy, Control V to paste. I'm going to do this three times because there are three printables in my bundle. And I'm doing this so I can drag and drop them so I don't have to add a shadow for each one. So let's say the second planner I'm selling is the gold planner. I can drag and drop that here. And then the weekly planner, drag and drop. And just like that, I've got my day-to-day -day planner, the goals planner, and the weekly planner. So you can just reposition this until you're happy with it. You might add some more little decorations. You might even go here and type in an element, uh, say sale. You can add this cute little sale button and change the color of them so they match your brand. For example, I might put uh, instant download. So something like this is now perfect and now we're ready to animate it. So first we can click here on duration. And remember that the video must be under 15 seconds. And now you can choose to animate. Click on the background and you can click here on animate and you can hover your mouse over any of the page animation options. Another thing that you can do is decide what you want to animate. I don't want to animate the background or this black text box. I do want to animate the text and the products themselves. So I'm going to click on the daily and weekly planner bundle, then press shift and hold and select all the elements that I want to animate. Okay, now I'm going to click on animate again and you can see we have element animations. So I can hover my mouse and I can choose whichever one I like the best. I'm going to choose the succession one. You can choose if you want the animation to go on enter, on exit, or both. I'm just going to choose on enter. And if you have a pro account, you can adjust the speed. And you can also experiment with adding some motion effects or exaggerate but I'm pretty happy with the succession effect. So I can click and drag this, preview it, and this is what my video will look like. So to export the video, click here on share, and then click on download. You make sure to download it as an MP4 video. Again, this is free to download. You don't have to have the pro account, just click download. So just wait until this finishes downloading. It shouldn't take too long. Once your video has finished exporting, you can now add the video to your Etsy listing. So you can go to etsy.com, select the shop manager icon, then select listings and choose the listing you'd like to add a video to. You can also add a video to a listing in the Etsy seller app. So for example, let's say I want to add a video to this listing. You can only add one video and you'll add it on this section here. So you'll just click on it and then you will upload your video. And once it's finished, you can click preview and then you can click publish changes. You can see right here that Etsy is recommending you add video listings because people with video listings get twice as many orders as those without them. So this is a really simple way to make your listing stand out. And if you have any other questions about Etsy, you can feel free to ask me as well. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this one. And I'll see you all in my next video.